Bitch, yeah, I'm Johnny K. Bought a hard since the second grade. A baby suck me like some lemonade. The whole time it's a lemonade. I just want the money, keep the face. I do, y'all know who it is. Sav got range, nigga, y'all like the mouse. Should we back with another video, man? This is gonna be a actual. This is gonna be a helpful video, man. The next video, I might do a little story time. I haven't done a story time in a while since like the start of this channel, so I might bring back story time segments, man. Do some funny little, some funny little story times for you guys. So I feel like I'm getting into that stage where I gotta bring them back again. So it's like bringing back some old stuff, some stuff I. You know faded away from so we're gonna get into that soon we're gonna probably do that next video but anyways whole nother different story man in this video today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get you know basically not even teaching you guys just giving you guys tips on how to actually get and obtain green lights the easiest way now some of this stuff is really common sense but some of this stuff is it's really up to you guys to put your guy in you know handle your guy manage him and able to get this green light stuff so you guys know that the lower your stats are, the less likely you will have a green light. So if you guys put your stuff on rookie, y'all can get green lights all day, man. That's the easiest way to do it. But I would say attribute upgrades, man. That's the most important thing you have to do in order to get your guys overall up. The more you upgrade your shot, whatever, you know, whatever position you are, whatever archetype you are, man, you do have the ability to shoot. They give you the ability to shoot and the ability to upgrade those attributes that record you know that fall into shooting so you're gonna be able to get green lights when you're close up a lot more easier because the farther you the further you're away from the net the whole rim and all that stuff it's pretty much common sense like you're most likely not gonna get a green light depending on your mid-range or three no depending on your three point that's what i mean depending on your three point if your three point is low you know you're not gonna be able to get green lights like that if you're trying to shoot from behind the three point line so just follow what your player is this is my stretch big i have him upgraded to a 80 he's an 87 overall like i for real say i was gonna put work into him He's gonna get all the badges that he needs. I got him like two. I got him three out of the five badges that he's supposed to have, like deep range. That I got that I got catch and shoot, and I also have corner specialist. Now I got catch and shoot and corner specialist on Hall of Fame, so that's pretty cool. I got dev. I got deep range that I got whatever it's called deep range that I and all that stuff. And it's just I got that silver. I recently I like just got it last game, so I got that. I'm gonna get that up to gold. Then I'm gonna get that up to Hall of Fame. So it's just badges that fall in again badges that fall into that category that you guys need to upgrade in order to get you guys the increased boost and increased chances to getting green lights and getting just perfect releases and all that stuff and also using the uh right stick instead of square i'm so used to using square and i need to really listen to what the game has offered me using the right stick the pro stick to actually shoot I'm gonna have to I'm really gonna be bound to use that in order to increase my chances on making it so using the right stick I'm gonna get used to trying to you know trying to make my shots more on point and then I'm also gonna try to time that very well in order to get my green releases so with that being said you also have the jump shot now I want to say this find yourself a jump shot that you're going to be able to use find yourself a jump shot that you are adapted to find yourself a jump shot that is so easy for you to get it lined up on the end of the meter so that way you are going to be able to get green re green releases you know very often so it's things like that it's just the small things you need to find you need to find out how to get your attribute upgrades how to you know boost up what you need to boost up you really got to put a lot of thinking and a lot of men you know a lot of mental solutions into trying to get your stuff up so like get all that stuff up man get all your attribute upgrades up in order to get your shooting very well so you can get the green releases that they're going to be offering you because the more you put up your mid-range your shot off dribble whatever position you are whatever you need to put up the highest you know the highest cap they have for whatever shooting column there is for you it's going to be able to allow you to get green releases if they allow if they give you all these amount of levels that you have to level up so it's really when you think about that green releases are going to be right there because the more levels there are the more capacity that your rating of shooting a mid range or shooting the three point or whatever it is shooting off dribble has so you really got to think about it in that way it's pretty simple to get green releases all you got to do again is get your attribute upgrades up and put it in the right column put it at a reasonable amount so that you can get green releases at least and then you also have to get yourself a jump shot that you can be adapted to get yourself a jump shot i would say like john wall rudy gay those are one of the best jump shots in the game uh 26 25 27 those three 
right there those are pretty good to me 47 i was using that for a little bit but now you see guys i'm using rudy gay so rudy gay is a good jump shot for me it's getting me the green releases that i need to get you, you guys see it in my court man i be going crazy man i go ham in the fucking my career games and all that stuff so make sure you guys get yourself a jump shot as well that you guys can get adapted to when you're so used to so you guys can make these green releases because as long as you do that and use that pro stick to increase your chance of making a shot you'll be good man these are some good ass tips it's really common sense but you know these tips should help you out just a little bit of informational things i had to tell you we came down to the end of the video man quick tips i wanted to give you guys on how to get perfect releases quite easy man this is the easy way out to do it so thank you guys for watching man make sure you subscribe if you haven't already drop a like that's it man i'm out of this bitch